Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve the second question of exercise 8.1 and the question says if the diagonals of a parallelogram are equal then show that it is a rectangle. Now what is parallelogram? Parallelogram is a closed figure in which opposite sides are parallel and equal. Now, if I visualize this, uh, this is a parallelogram. Okay, uh, let me make you a figure for that. So, this is a parallelogram in which this side is equal to this side and this side is parallel to this side. Similarly, these opposite sides are also parallel and equal. Now, how to make this a rectangle? If this tilted figure is made straight, then this becomes a rectangle. Okay. In rectangle also, opposite sides are parallel and equal. But because this tilted figure has uh, has been made straight, so in this case it's all angles will be equals to 90 degree so if you want to prove that a parallelogram is a rectangle then what you have to do is you have to prove that one of the angle of this figure is equals to 90 degree now if you are able to prove that one of this angle is equals to 90 degree so this parallelogram will automatically will become rectangle now you have to prove that one of one of the angle is equal to 90 degree for that what you have to do is because these two lines are parallel so obviously if these two lines are for that matter i can say that uh, okay these two lines are parallel these two and this is a transversal this one if i extend this and this so this figure will be same as this so obviously these two lines are parallel and this is a transversal there is a property in parallel lines that the sum of co-interior angle is equal to 180 degree means this angle and this angle is uh, the sum of these two angles is equal to 180 degree. Now, using this property, what you have to do is you have to prove that both uh, the value of both these angles is equal. Means if you can prove that both angles are equal, means y is also equal to x. So I can replace y with x. So this will be equal to 180. And so here 2x will be equal to 180 so the value of x will be 90 degree this is added and this complete equation is divided by 2 so the value of x will be 90 so this will be equal to 90 degree so this will also be equal to 90 degree so this is how you can prove that these angles are equal to 90 degree and this will be a rectangle so the first part what you have to do is you have to prove that these both angles are equal this is the main purpose here and if both angles are equal using this property you can prove that this angle is 90 degree and we know that whenever a parallelogram having one angle is equal to 90 degree it will be a rectangle now how to prove that these two angles are equal for that you have to use this property which is the diagonals of a parallelogram are equal okay this is the first diagonal and this is the second diagonal if i name this a b c d now what you have to do is you have to prove that this triangle a b c this triangle it is congruent to this triangle 
ए बी डी दिस ट्राइंगल इज कॉम्ग्रेन टू दिस ट्राइंगल एंड इफ दीज टू ट्राइंगल्स आर कॉम्ग्रेन सो बाय सी पी सी टी दिस एंगल ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल विल बी इक्वल टू दिस एंगल ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन प्रूव दैट एंगल ए एंड एंगल बी आर इक्वल ना लेट्स वर्क इन ट्राइंगल ए बी डी एंड ट्राइंगल ए बी सी यू नो दो यू नो यू हैव टू प्रूव दैट दीज ट्राइंगल्स आर कॉम्ग्रेन फॉर दैट वट यू हैव टू डू ऑब्वियसली दिस साइड ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल इज इक्वल टू दिस साइड ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल this triangle this side and this triangle this side both should be equal because we know that the opposite sides in a parallelogram are equal so the first thing is ad is equal to bc equal opposite sides of parallelogram the second thing ab in triangle abd and ab in triangle abc are equal both are common sides and the third is this side in this triangle and this side in this triangle are also given equal because the diagonals of this parallelogram are given equal so ac will be equals to bd equal diagonals now by side 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 you can say that triangle abd is congruent to triangle abc now you have proved that these two triangles are congruent by side 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 so obviously by cpct all other parts must also be equal Three sides are equal, so obviously the remaining three parts, that is, three angles, must also be equal of this triangle and this triangle. So this angle of this triangle will be equal to angle B, that is, this angle of this triangle. Now these two angles are equal, and the sum of these two must be equal to one eighty. because ad is parallel to bc this line is parallel to this and ab is a transversal so angle a plus angle b must be equal to 180 degrees this is you have to mention the reason here that the sum of co interior angle is equal to 180 degree and because angle a and angle b are same so instead of angle b i can write angle a And this will be solved similarly. Twice of angle A will be equal to one hundred and eighty. And shifting this two to that side, it should divide one hundred and eighty. So angle A will be equal to ninety degree. And if one of the angle in a parallelogram is equal to ninety degree, in that case, that is known as rectangle. So this is how you can solve this question. I hope you have understood how to solve this. If you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact to us the phone number the email address and the whatsapp number is given below in the description thank you